Uh, okay, so welcome to channel everyone. Now let's talk about a generative AI interview bootcamp in a very, very detail that uh, how we are going to start this batch, uh, what is going to happen inside this batch, what and all things that we are going to discuss, what kind of outcome you all will be able to get and many more things around this generative AI interview bootcamp. So as uh, days are closing uh, day by day, day by day, and it is going to start from 25th of August. So in like a couple of days, it is going to start and we have already started taking uh, enrollment for this particular batch. So I believe it's time for all of us to understand this entire batch. So first of all, if I'll talk about a price, so if you are going to take this particular batch, so price is going to be around 3540 without discount. Now discount is going on. So obviously you will be able to like uh, get a little bit of discount. But yes, if you are a Euron Plus user, if you have a plus in that case, you don't have to pay this particular price. That's a very first part. Now, let me close this one. Now, as I said that this is going to start from 25th of August and uh, I, I'm going to take your class, by the way, I'm going to take this entire lecture and inside this interview bootcamp. So we are not going to discuss everything from the scratch. We topic by topic uh, as a name suggests, it's a interview bootcamp, right? So we'll try to focus on a interview part now. So when I say that uh, we are going to focus on an interview part, what does that mean? So first of all, we have to understand that what is a requirement or what is a prerequisite for an interview? The very first prerequisite for an interview is a subject knowledge. That's completely fine. And I believe most of us are learning generative AI uh, from here, from there, maybe from a Euron platform, maybe from somewhere else. That's completely fine. You might have understanding about a generative AI ecosystem maybe about a RAG, maybe about a agents, maybe about a framework like a Langchain, Llama Index, Lang Graph, Autogen, and many more other frameworks, right? Maybe you have already worked on a couple of projects, right? So those things are technically a prerequisite, but most of us, right? Most of us fail to accumulate all of those learnings, all of those experience in one single place. And that place is technically called as resume, right? Resume. So the very first point is that that how and in what manner we are supposed to build a resume, what kind of a things we should keep, what kind of a things we should not keep, we should discard, all of those things we are going to discuss. And the second most part is your resume should be ATS compliant, applicant tracking system compliant, because every resume nowadays goes through a application tracking system and within a fraction of second, so it is going to either select your resume or it is going to reject your resume. Nowadays, every company is using it. So that alignment is pretty much important. And when we are going to start this batch on Monday and Tuesday, every Monday and Tuesday, we will be having a classes. So four hour of class, I'm going to take two hour of a disc, like a class I'm going to give where I'm going to talk about the questions and storytelling, many more things as per the syllabus. And then two hour will be a doubt clearing. So plus minus four hour we are going to spend on a daily basis. Tentatively, this batch will go for a one and a half month to two month, max to max. Now here, so I have created the syllabus in such a way, right? In such a way that uh, we will start from the resume that's completely fine. We'll try to talk about the template. Plus, even I'm going to tell you that how you will be able to build a best possible resume with the help of resume AI. Maybe from a scratch, maybe if you are looking for a resume enhancement, you can do that. Maybe if you are going to build a resume with the help of some sort of a JDs and your base resume, all of those things, we are going to do it with respect to the resume. Fine. That's cool. Now, the next step is, so whenever we are going to prepare a resume, so we need a project. And above all, uh, we have to justify those projects. We are supposed to know the storytelling, right? The storytelling in terms of what kind of a feature you have built, what was a client requirement, what was your roles and responsibility, what was a strength of the team, and then who was a client, whether it's a product or whether it's a clientele-based project. Many more questions, right? And what was the impact your project was able to deliver? So many more questions uh, follows around or runs around these things. And this is something that we are going to discuss in this particular interview series. So this is what I do in all the interview series, not just in this one. And uh, similar kind of approach we are going to follow even over here, right? Even over here. Not just that, on a very initial days itself, I'm going to hand over 
detailed interview questions so that you can come uh, like a mentally you can come to the class uh, with a mentality that okay these are something that we are going to discuss these are the question these are the answer apart from the project storytelling because project storytelling plays a very much or uh, very important role for any of the interview so this is something that we are going to do it guys so project execution strategy all of these things project storytelling and communication which is a very very important part that we are going to discuss and then large language model so we are going to cover a lot of questions so as per my preparation so we are going to cover more than 200 plus interview question and believe me i don't think that that anyone is going to cross that limit anyone will be asking any kind of a question beyond that limit that we are going to set inside the class right obviously around that there will be a lot of discussions but uh, i don't think that that anyone and everyone will be able to like uh, cross that limit in an interview and any question anyone is going to ask you will be will, will like uh, will hover around the same 200 set of the question that i'm going to discuss when i say 200 so again there will be plus and minus but yeah i think that many number of questions will be more than enough so whether what is the like a, a questions from a prompt engineering question from a rag question from a model adaptation technique question from a frameworks and libraries that we are going to use question from a vector databases so we have created a syllabus in a very 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 detailed way like any other syllabus that i used to create so that uh, it is going to create a clear mind map for all of you and whenever you will go for a like an interview so you will be very clear that okay these are the topics that i'm supposed to be aware about if i'm not aware about this topic so maybe like let's let's go ahead and uh, dig deeper into these topic let's try to learn relearn and like uh, repractice all of those topic once again so keeping that in mind this entire things has been created not just that so we have avani right we have avani ai over here so which is a virtual interview taker and believe me people are giving an interview people are like a giving a very good recommendation about avani that uh, yeah it is uh, trying it, it is able to basically take an interview better than any human being right better than any human being so this is where avani ai comes into a picture and you will be able to practice your interview with avani ai so even that facilities you all will be able to get not just that so we have already created a whatsapp group so if you will come over here in a resource section you will be able to find out that uh, there is a whatsapp group we have attached so that uh, you will be you know connected uh, with all the fellow batchmates and again so when i say well fellow batchmates so some of them will be fresher some of them will be like a experience from one to five year five to ten year ten to fifteen year so every kind of a people you will be able to find out and uh, it's a good opportunity for all of you to build a network right so that all of you will be able to help each other maybe today tomorrow or even in future and all of you will be able to leverage each and everyone's potential right so that is a whatsapp group which i have already created and uh, i have already attached a whatsapp group link for every batches we are creating it nowadays and uh, here is a live class joining link so we are going to take a live class over a zoom so it is going to be a two way communication so it's not like i'll keep on saying something and you don't have any like a uh, privilege to ask a question or maybe to share the screen so we are going to do a live communication a live conversation a two way conversation a two way communication so that we all can talk as much as possible because i believe that is something which is important for this entire batch right this entire batch a lot of talking is required and keeping that in mind it's already available and again so in all the whatsapp groups so we are discussing a lot of things lot of topics so i believe you will be enjoying even that particular part so this is a syllabus which i have already discussed and uh, this is all these facilities plus apart from that all these facilities i have listed down over here in case of in case you if you are going to miss the class recordings will be available inside your dashboard after some time but yeah so it's always better to join a live discussion and then discuss as much as possible so hope uh, all of you are going to enjoy this entire interview uh, boot camp journey and right after that hope all of you will be able to crack a job like any other people are doing it in all the groups that we have created so with that thank you so much everyone take care and see you again in my upcoming video